welcome back to the Spanish web and in this video we're going to be doing an unboxing and uh, this one is a fun little game I hope <laughs> I've seen gameplay videos of it and it does look fun I just had to <laughs> so in the red corner weighing in it's not very much it's rumble slam okay so here we are with rumble slam and as you can see it's a game of fantasy wrestling mm. so let's just have a look at the back shall we the lights are up the ropes are tightened and the crowd are cheering let's get ready to rumble slam rumble slam is the original fast-paced fantasy wrestling game for two or more players it's easy to pick up tricky to master and lasts around 45 minutes Rumble Slam wrestlers step into the ring to brawl, grapple, leap from the turnbuckles, showboat and bounce around the ring. Throwing the opponents out of the ring is the aim of the game, with no small amount of black eyes for good measure. It includes everything a budding sponsor needs to start their Rumble Slam career. Two teams of five wrestlers, the Rumble Slam rulebook, one Rumble Slam game mat, 15 character and reference cards, 40 counters and 16 dice. Uh, the teams that are in here are the Heavy Pounders, and the green bruisers so let us open up and see now I haven't opened this up this is how it's arrived it's not sealed or anything and as you can see it's from TT combat Ooh. so I'll pop that sleeve over here out of the way and we have a nice way of opening this box okay so here we have the mat it's not a massive mat as you can see but let's put this box out of the way I think this will be the better idea to do this one it's a little bit conspicuous in its scale shall we say let's first of all before we have a look properly at the mat and the components, let's have a look, as we usually do, at the rule book. Well, this is it. So, as you can see, there are different uh, different factions that can be played with this. Um, so we have quick reference things at the back. We have some illustrations showing one of the teams. And a referee. Um, so it's giving some options for uh, tag teams, um, building your own team, hiring wrestlers, game size, that kind of thing. This is all at the back of the book. Obviously, I'm working from back to front, as you do with a book. Yeah, or any other way of doing it. Um, so you've got really nice looking there's really nice layouts where we've got really colorful illustration and all the text that we need and there's nice clear diagrams um, so there we are uh, Okay, so you can actually have four teams, um, as it shows there. So this could be quite fun, I think. Um, I really do like the layout of this book. So I will be having a read through that at late, later on. Um, so we did start off but let's properly have a look at this mat let's take it out of its pack um, we definitely won't be needing this I find these stick down packs that we use for things in the way slightly so there we are it's a nice neoprene mat it's not very thick as you can probably tell and hopefully you can see 
and we'll zoom in a little bit so you can actually see what's on here but you do have the little white crosses um, to show each particular square I hope you can see that I'll zoom back out again but yeah at the moment you've just got this now there is um, there are rings that you can buy um, I will be um, probably getting a ring um, probably the deluxe ring because the deluxe ring can actually fit this mat inside it uh, but then again saying that we've got the turnbuckles in the corner and in the rings you get proper turnbuckles so I don't know what to do as yet but we'll look at it but that's a very very nice mat and it's definitely non-slip okay so we'll put that back in there and then we'll have a look at the dice now let me lower this camera a little bit so we can have a look at these properly at the moment you can probably, all you can probably see is um, what we call it uh, is just very pale colours but if you look there are different uh, different types of dice you've got copper dice which have three blank faces one star two star and three stars um, and that's how much damage that you can do each wrestler has different abilities that they use the different colored dice for um, and then we have four silver sorry five silver dice and these have one two um, blank dice our blank sides two with two sorry one with one star two sides with two stars and one side with three stars and then you've got the herd big hitting gold dice and this has one blank side it has one um, single star one two with two stars a three star and a four star side and then we have the crowd dice got two of these and they have a blank side they have one two three cheer sides and two boo sides so you do this when you're doing any special move or anything that you want to that the crowd has to get involved with um, so that's the dice they're not quite nice and even though they look very defined sharp corners sharp edges straight edges don't look very rounded they are quite comfortable in the hand which is nice it's always nice when you get um, dice that are comfortable in the hand and now here we get um, different acrylic uh, tokens and these are the uh, 40 counters so if I just give these here get these out here we've got ones with exclamation marks in them we've got ones that are arrows stars um, blood drops liquid drops and this is where the exclamation markers came out of and came out of this one I don't know what they all are uh, for yet but that's what we say we'll find out as time goes on and then we've got uh, some red stars we've got some blue stars and red stars and then you've got some blue and red arrows and these are for your, your teams I think because um, you usually get a blue corner and a red corner for um, for wrestling uh, so the two teams will be in those those corners so I just have to get rid of the scrap here that we don't need but I'll put these back in the bag for the time being I may get some more of those as time goes on next we have the cards 
Now these are the different um, members of the team. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. So this is the gob Goblin Brawler. And these are actions on the back. So you've got the attack dice, the defense dice, the grappling dice and uh, dexterity dice. So they, he basically rolls all bronze or copper dice. His weight is one, his popularity is two, and his throw is two as well. Um, I think these are action points that you can spend to do things. Or well, some of them are. That's the movement of five. And that is the faction that he's with. And I'm not sure what the 150k is. And these are different. Um, well, what you call it? Different um, moves you can make. And that is health tracker. And these are the actions that go along with these down here. So pin missile, which is a rocket, a rocket. If this attack fails to hit, the wrestler takes one damage. Um, so I assume that will be the make off the ropes. That's a turnstile maneuver. Um, to crown, crown, a crowd pleaser and, and antagonize, which is pick an enemy wrestler and roll one C. What's one C? I don't know. Or oh, crowd dice, sorry. On a no, it can't be crown crowd dice. I don't know. Anyway, on a two plus that rest still receives one minus AP counter and one and plus one attack counter until the end of the next activation. So again we're going to have to um what's the word I'm looking for? Go through the rules to find out exactly what all these are and it does actually tell you on the back as well uh, this faction is the rolling bones so there's a few different factions that you can get um, so this goblin grappler um, has his own specs I'm not going through them all again it just gives you an idea of um, a bit of an explanation now this guy has two Silver dice and one bronze dice for attack and one silver and one bronze for defense. Everything else is bronze or copper. Um, well there you go, this is the orc brawler. And then the orc grappler. He has two copper dice or bronze dice for attack. One silver, one bronze for defense. One, uh, two silver, one bronze for grapple because he's big and strong. So basically even though they're both orcs, um, because he's a brawler, he's more for punching and kicking and fighting, and this one's just for trying to pick up and throw about and that kind of thing. So that's why the, the slightly different. And there'll be um, actions on the back. And then we have a troll. Um, here we are. And as you can see, his attack is one gold and two silver. His defense is one silver, two bronze. And his grapple is three silver. And his dexterity is one bronze. So it's um, quite a big, quite a varied, uh, what we call it, um, roster sheet for that particular faction. Now, what you could do for this is use dry wipe pens and sleeve all the cards I think what I might do rather than doing that is laminate all the cards so I don't actually so they're all sort of like um, covered in the, the plastic coating instead of putting them in sleeves so I find sleeves quite tricky to keep hold of when I'm shuffling but with this game you don't need to shuffle so I don't know what to do but I think I might just get these uh, I might just laminate these so that's the first squad we're looking at the second squad we're looking at is Kaiser's Palace so this is, I don't know um, so we start off with a halfling brawler 
and that's his actions on the back. Then a halfling grappler. And that's his actions. Then a human brawler. Then a human grappler. As you can see, the this team seems to be much stronger than the other team that we just opened up and had a look at. So, but the ogres seem to be. Seem, I think they balance out quite well, to be honest. It may just be a case of one's stronger, but the other ones may be faster, that kind of thing. But I will be building up to getting more um, characters and factions as time goes on and these are different cards as well so we have an initiative card so depending on who wins the initiative to start um, you basically roll a dice and whoever gets the highest number um, gets the initiative so it's either red gets the initiative and starts first or blue gets the initiative and then we have the abilities these are quick reference sheets and basic actions. And if you're a heal, as well the crowd pleaser um, dice, when you're rolling it, the booze actually count as a success. Um, but if you're a crowd, if you're not if you're a heal, if you're not a heal, um, if you're one of the good guys, as it were, the um, the cheers are always the uh, successes so you get two of these cards uh, one for each team both exactly the same um, and then you get these this is these are beat downs these are extra attacks if you beat rolls by a certain value so if you beat a roll by three points there's no additional effects but if you do it by four points you get plus one damage five points one damage and you shove back two spaces Six points, uh, it's two damage and you're dazed. Seven points, you're two damage and you're knocked down. And if you do it by eight points, opponents instantly reduces uh, the stamina to zero. And again, you get two of those. And these are for reversals as well. So you can have a look at those. They're exactly the same card. Um, but zero to three, no additional effects. Uh, four activation ended immediately five activation ended immediately one damage and shove two six points um activation ended immediately attack hits them instead if you beat it by seven points activation ended immediately attack hits them instead with plus one damage and eight points acts of activation ended immediately attack hits them instead with two damage and crowd please so that's the um the other cards as I said, I'm going to laminate all these um, so they don't get damaged and I can use dry wipe erasers on them or dry wipe pens on them. And now we have this little bag of goodiness. So, what's inside here? These are, as you may have gathered, are the minis. I just tip them out. And these minis actually come with clear acrylic bases. So the, here's your um, ogre for the human team, and he obviously will sit on that one, the biggest base. I'll start again. This is the first of the halflings. There we go. And then this is the second halfling. Let's just got all this flashing to remove and the um, resin injection uh, lines to um, clear up but it's not going to take too long to do that there we are and then there's one of the human fighters 
with the flushing is coming off with as I you rub your finger across it and it'll just break off. These are quite nice minis, there's a lot of crevices and muscle um what's the word I'm looking for? Uh muscle outlines here that you can actually get a nice wash in and uh, make make it stand out really well with them being um, resin obviously we'd have to use super glue well we'd have to use super glue anyway to pop them down on the bases but it's going to be worth it uh, this is the other human fighter let's get these out of the background they can see it properly that's better there we are and he's just standing there looking smug <laughs> and as you've already seen once already uh, here's the ogre There we are. He's not got two walking sticks. That's where they've been pouring the resin in to create the mini. So they'll have to be snipped off. These on the feet will have to be snipped off as well. But there you go. A little bit of cleaning up. But that nah, doesn't matter at all. And we'll pop all these minis and the bases back into this little uh, uh, bubble wrap bag and then we'll take out the next lot of minis and I'm expecting these to be near enough the same kind of thing only different minis altogether so let's move them aside we've got the bases and everything now we've got the first of the goblins. Again, we've got a lot of flashing and everything, but um, flashing I'm not too bothered about. Uh, that the ease only removed. Um, mold lines can be a bit of a problem, but bit that I really don't like are these things because sometimes they can be quite thick but with this they're not so that's the first of the goblins and the second goblin is here and he's just covered in flashing you can't see the goblin properly because of all the flashing but there we are you'll see it better when I come around to painting it we're starting that very very soon there we are. and then we'll get orc number one keeping concentration there and it's the only just fit on this on the uh, basis that they give you if you look which will be only just <laughs> but never mind I don't really know why they do that give a certain type of base and then they make the stance so that the feet don't fit on properly but never mind there we go he's in the new one piece leotard kind of thing And the second of the um, orcs, again, a little bit of flashing, not too much to worry about. And because they're only small minis, um, the these things aren't too big a deal either. Um, I've seen a lot worse where I've had to use a, a saw of some description to cut them off. But with these, not too bad. 
at all. Uh, just give that a quick scrape my fingernail. Thumbnail. No, it's not coming off. I can't get at it properly. But there he's, there's his back. And now the big fellow himself, the troll. Look at the size of that. You wouldn't want to meet that on a dark night, would you? Now here we go. This is one of those I was just saying about <laughs> um, um, needing a saw with some description to cut it off. You will with this. This is not going to come off very easily. Neither of these stumps here, and I don't think that will either. It's a little more like a mold line there. There is a little bit of a sand there, but not too much. But yeah, these are nice minis. There's a lot of detail that's gone into these. So we will be painting these very, very soon. But that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, as I said, we will be painting these very soon. Um, I'm actually hoping to start them over the next couple of days because I do want to actually I want to give this game a good going over. Um, I'm not going to do that with, I'm not going to be able to get Marvel Crisis Protocol up and running as quickly as I can get this up and running. So I want to get this done first. Um, so I will do that. Um, so check out the videos coming later this week. Hopefully I will be able to get them primed and then we can start on the painting. But that's it from me. And my troll friend, until next time, as always, stay safe and take care, God bless and bye for now.